Hey, you kids, get off my lawn. You don't want to make me come out there. Good morning, guys. How we all doing today? Hope you're having a great one. I'm here with the doctor again. Good morning. And the doctor and I are going to go take a look at the new premium housing within Lord of the Rings. Correct, doctor? That's right. This was uh, a feature that's part of the latest release. So we're here on, what, the 23rd of October. Um, this release was put up on, is it Monday morning, Tuesday morning? I think so, right. So now it's the following weekend, and we're looking at taking a quick tour of this premium housing that was part of that release. So what do we do, click on her then? Right, Northwind, I guess, is uh, present in several places throughout the world, but she represents access to the uh, the pre premium housing. She's your real estate agent. Uh, she also has a quest that I haven't done and don't know too much about, but apparently it's a, a quest to introduce you to the premium housing area. Hmm. But if, uh if you bring up the... Uh, house purchase interface okay you're going to, have to remind me how to do that because i was going to take the quest yeah you could take the quest as well well you can and it won't won't make me run off would you do no, something for me send you anywhere are you looking for something for oh me? i see now i have a choice of houses or something here right okay well you have a choice of neighborhoods first neighborhood so yeah the, yeah these are all basically these are all instances of the same housing zone or the same piece of real estate um, and each each one of these instances or, or neighborhoods as they're called uh, has the same houses in it but you know when you purchase when you're purchasing purchases purchasing an instance of, of one house in that particular neighborhood so your friend may have the exact same house in a different neighborhood Wow. Um, they're all instances of the same thing. So it works kind of like what they call the classic housing right, zones right. in this game. And as you can see, there are three types of houses. If you mouse over these little circular icons. Yeah, I just noticed. So there's a number next to it which represents the number of houses available, currently unsold, listed on the market, whatever, uh, it, uh, of that type in each neighborhood and as you can see there are precious few stately houses available in fact yeah. um, what a total of about eight across all neighborhoods mm -hmm. so those were apparently selling pretty fast I don't know how many of the stately houses each neighborhood has when it's um, started yeah when it started uh, I don't know how many are available but clearly there are no more than one stately house available in any neighborhood currently. Right. The story is very different for the luxurious houses. There are plenty of those luxurious houses available. Yeah, I see several search. neighborhoods for, for 10 houses available. Yeah. Um, and then the kinship houses uh, are, are only available to leaders of kinships. Right. And uh, there are fewer of them, I'm sure, to begin with. Yeah, it looks but like the Max too. Available. Yeah. Yeah. Well, which so, one should uh, we go into? The very first one, or what is it? We'll take a well, look at we the could. one. Dog girl. Yeah, I'm I'm almost inclined to pick a neighborhood that has a few more houses available. But we need to, if we want to tour a stately house, we should pick uh, a neighborhood that has plenty. So let let's pick the neighborhood. Parental, P A R A N T O L. Parental, okay. Yeah, it has at least one stately house, nine luxurious, and at least two kinships. Okay. And then if you pick one, like let's pick one cliff road there, okay. right? Okay, all right. And there's a button over uh, in the lower right that says tour house. Tour house, I got it, okay. So let's take a tour. Okay, we're touring. No, we're not. We're not there yet. I wonder what that splash screen is. Oh, you're inside my head again. 
Yeah. Quest available, so, roving threats. What yeah. the hell? What is that? Well, it's probably a quest to kill the super high level monsters that roam around randomly. I don't know. Roving wow. threats are random encounters with extremely difficult, usually multi uh, player, fellowship points. only type. Mobs, but as you can see, there's a for sale sign here. Yeah. As a mailbox, and pretty much all the uh, all of the houses are given a very large yard of some kind with plenty of hooks for um, outdoor uh, furniture or objects. So this is this house's yard. It's all to one side. There's a big wall on the other here as you walk up. Yeah. And um, so this is the stately house. Now these steps, are they part of this house or a different yes, house? Yes, they're part of this house. I'm going to run up there and look real quick. Hold on. Oh, you mean the steps on the side? Yeah. You know, those, they're just a, a way of getting up. Oh, to another house. To another, to another street, yeah. Okay, all right. Cool. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Mm. So all of the houses are essentially dec decorated like this to begin with. Um, it's a Gondorian look and feel. Look at the ceiling. All the ceilings are... That reminds me of the ceiling in um, my house in EQ2. Yeah. Yeah. Or one of my and houses. The, and they have a few things that are already placed, like these candelabras or right. candle holders here. Nice stained glass windows. Interesting. Now, would these be about the same size as one of the original Ken houses? Um, yeah, I don't know how they compare to one of the original kin houses, but they're sizable. They're, they're comparable, I think. Yeah, yeah. Considering this house also has a, a small second floor or um, first floor, depending on whether you're of the European persuasion. Oop, I missed the stairs. Wow, kind of nice. Mm-hmm. And as near as I can figure out, um, of course, you have to buy these houses with mithril coins. But the real world price works out to be about ten dollars. Well, I have and fifteen mithril coins. I bet that's nowhere no close. <laughs> I think that's about a tenth of what you need to buy yeah, these. Yeah, yeah. If you look at the for sale sign, it's one hundred forty-five mithril coins, and then there's upkeep. Right. In fact, there's a weekly upkeep, just like with the classic housing. Right. And um, you could pay it in gold or in mithril coins, and it's waived for people with VIP accounts. Okay. Interesting. So, so we may want to pause here if we want to try to take a look at a uh, deluxe house or, okay. or a luxurious house because we'll have to find one that's available or we'll have to find one that the owner of which has uh, al allows uh, for public viewing visitors. Uh -huh. Yeah. So let's okay. pause here real quick. and we can... I just wanted to run up here and see what those green banners were. I guess those are houses? Yeah, they're part of the demarcation of the yard. Oh, I see. Areas. Yeah, for, I was trying to see what that was. The way I read it anyway. Wow, look at that one over there. It looks like sailing ships on the front. That's amazing. I wonder yeah. if they changed those. Well, this one's got, am I, did I just not see the sailing ships on the other one? No, this, okay, okay. I guess they're all there. That's my bad, my bad. Maybe they aren't sailing ships. 
Okay, well, we'll pause, and when we find one, guys, we'll bring you back, okay? All so right, guys, we are back, and Lil, we are at the lighthouse, is that correct? That's right. We've come down here to the southernmost point in the uh, Cape of Belfalas uh, to the large Gondorian lighthouse, and um, the reason is just to kind of take a look at the facilities available here and also to check in with the housing broker, see if she'll point us to a, an available on the market uh, luxurious house. But as you can see here, there are task boards for every level. There's a vault keeper, housing furnisher. That lighthouse just a cool at night. Mm hmm And there are always gulls swirling about. Looks pretty sweet. Still trying to give me that roving threat quest. And inside you see some fine Condorian interior decorating. Wow. If you look up in here you see the bright shining light of the lighthouse, the beacon. There's a forge master and relic master here. I love those tapestries. I wonder who the statue is of with the sword up there. That's really cool. And there's supplier, healer, and provisioners out here. And our friend Nothwin is here. I wonder why the supplier has a quest for us. Hello, friend. Can well, I help you with something? If we look at Parental, which is the neighborhood we're in again. Right. Let's just pick one of the uh, higher priced, the 445 okay. or 422. Let's pick a 445 mithril coin house. That would be a luxurious house. Okay. Which one? Cypress Road? One Cypress? Okay, let's pick that one. Okay, tour that one. Now, I'm not sure. If, does the for sale sign point to this house? This is a little confusing, I think. Which house is it pointing to? Probably this one that we're approaching from the south to the north. Love the forest area. So this would be the yard for this house then, I'm assuming. I guess. And it looks like it has a veranda or porch maybe on the side there, but I'm not sure how you get to it. I can't say I like this one on the inside as much as the other one. Well, keep looking. There's an upstairs. Yeah, I saw that. Now, the interior courtyard, that big stained glass dome, is very pretty. A lot of room. Right. It has Lots of room. Wings to the left and right of the courtyard, although they're not enormous areas. Right. These little alcoves, I believe, all have hooks for either small or large furniture. So you could place pieces in them to highlight them. Hmm. Interesting um, entranceway there, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, 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 like the, I like the house. It's just something about the entrance coming into that blank wall. I don't care yeah. for. I know that's weird. It's just my foolishness, but and I don't know how how many hooks for wall pieces might be available there, so that you could um, still very up. cool. Yeah, 
and this is the one that costs forty dollars real money, right? And thereabouts, yeah. Yeah. Unless you had played for two hundred years and have lots of uh, coins build up, medallions, I mean. Mithril coins, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, since we don't, we haven't bought this house, we can't go into decorating mode and see what's see there. Yeah, what the hooks are that are available. This this game uses a what I call a hook system, I guess, um, where uh, it's predetermined where you can place things, and uh, each hook determines what could be placed in a given location. Um, there are small furniture, large furniture, small yard, large yard, enormous yard. <laughs> uh, so it just depends. The type of item that you want to position has to go into the right the hook that's appropriate for it. Now, is this yard down here part of the house, or do you know? I don't know. Looks like it would be, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you'd think it would be. For that price, you'd think it would be. But man, you get a great view of the coast. Man, that's sweet. Yeah, there are almost no houses that don't have great views. Wow, that's amazing. But it is a fantasy world after all. Right, true, true. That's really nice. Very cool. Well, guys, I hope you, uh, we both hope you enjoyed that. This has been kind of fun to go see this stuff. Um, thanks for the doctor there inviting me along, and we will talk to you guys later. Doc, you want to tell them goodbye? Bye-bye. All right, guys. Take care, and as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.